You are watching Tutormage. For today's lesson, let us convert measurements from one unit to another in both metric and English systems. So, to remember the proper decimal movement, arrange the prefixes from largest to smallest. We have here first the kilo, hecto, deca, unit, deci, centi, and milli. And to remember the proper prefixes from largest to smallest, remember this. King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. For metric system of measurement, note the following table of unit measures. We have here units for length, for weight, and for capacity. Now we have here the different metric converters. The first one is for length, the second one is for weight, and the third one is for capacity. To understand this one, let's have an illustration. Okay, if we are about to convert, for example, a unit measure to milli, then we have to follow these steps. First, determine your starting point. So let us put the decimal point there. Next, count the step units to your ending point. So we are going to move to the right three units. And the last one, Move the decimal point to your ending point. To further understand this one, let's have some examples. We have 14 kilometers to be converted to meters. So let us affix here 14 and then let us count how many units from kilometer to meters. So we have 1, 2, 3. So here, let us put the decimal point and then count also 1, 2, 3 to the right and then take off that decimal point there and put it here. Then let us affix the zeros, meaning we have 14,000 meters equals 14 kilometers. So we have here 50 milligrams to be converted to grams. Now let us put 50 here and then let us count the movement from milligram to grams. So, going to the left, we have 1, 2, 3. Now, we do that also here. So, we just affix here that decimal point and then count 1, 2, 3 to the left and then affix your decimal point 0 and then proceed also a 0 here. Now, 50 milligram is equal to 0 0.05 grams. Let us convert 3 deciliter to milliliter. So let us first write 3 here and then let us count the units from deciliter to milliliter. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Let us do the same here. We affix first the decimal point and then count 1, 2, 3, 4. And then change the position of the decimal point, put it here. And then let us affix zeros. Therefore, 3 deciliter is equal to 30,000 milliliter. For English system of measurement, we have here the table for our conversion ratio or unit factor. We have also here the common conversion factors. And to further understand the process on how to convert using the conversion factors, let us have some examples. Let us convert 1.4 miles to feet. So we have the ratio 1 mile is equal to 5,280 feet. Now we will multiply 1.4 miles times 5,280 feet over 1 mile. So we will slash out miles over mile. Then let us multiply 1.4 times 5,280. Therefore, 1.4 miles is equal to 7,392 feet. 
Let us convert 7 metric ton to kilogram. So we write first the ratio 1 metric ton is equal to 1,000 kilogram. Now we will multiply 7 metric ton times 1,000 kilogram over 1 metric ton. So metric ton over metric ton, we cancel that out. So 7 times 1,000, we have now 7,000 kilogram. Therefore, 7 metric ton is equal to 7,000 kilogram. Like and subscribe to Tormed. Happy learning!